This video is sponsored by Skillshare. Okay, we are officially up to two feet of snow now. And this is the machine that moves the snow. <laughs> and this is the machine that I'm currently using. Um, this is my shovel. And that's it um, in the ground right now. Hoop house looks okay. I'd like to go drop a little bit of the snow off the back of it. Otherwise, it's um, falling off nicely. But yeah, got to make a path over there, huh? I got a new car too, by the way. It's not new, but new to me. It's pretty much off. We had just cleared around the edge too. Guys, I'm up to my waist. Oh yeah, it's, it's gonna come off, okay. But that's, look how, that's two feet right there. That's incredible. This is up to my waist. Not even kidding. Look at the hydrangeas. These are the hydrangeas that we're over four feet tall. They're almost completely buried. It's just still a complete blit. Wow. Can't even see. That's the deer fence over there. And then here's the house. <sighs> yep. It mostly came off real good. I just got to give it a couple more. And then when Brad gets home with the tractor, we'll plow that out of the way. It's a super light snow, so I'm not worried about the weight up against it. I'm gonna go back and I have to somehow make my way to the nursery and see what the situation is there. I turned the heat on at the nursery. This is no joke, guys. <laughs> Mid thigh. I turned the heat on at the nursery and that seems to be helping the snow actually melt before it falls off the side. It kind of rolls down in the form of rain because I turned the heat up to about 48 degrees. <laughs> oh boy. For those of you guys keeping score, it is now almost noon. The snow's let up a little bit, but it's still snowing. I just cleared another six inches out of our sidewalk. I mean, yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to leave the house today. Currently stuck in the driveway. Help is on the way. <laughs> All right, listen, I just need you to push. Uh, see the gas pedals on the right? Yeah, I know. Very, the gas very, pedals. very lightly, and I'm going to push from the front. Okay, chest it out right now. Oh, wait, no, no, my door's open. <laughs> and now, more about the sponsor of today's video it's Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creators. Explore new skills deepen existing passions, and get lost in your creativity. For years now, every holiday I make decorated sugar cookies with my kids, but I wanted to up our icing game. And that led me to Skillshare. I took this course called Cookie Decorating for Beginners, Create Incredible Edible Art with Lori Shannon, who has an amazing YouTube channel. She's known as the Icing Artist. She makes it simple using simple tools, things you probably already have in your kitchen, and she helps you to curate beautiful designs and gorgeous, basically, edible art. Skillshare is curated specifically for learning, meaning there are no ads and new classes are always being added. The first 1,000 people to use the link in the description will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. So you can start exploring your creativity today. All right, flower friends, we just got three feet of snow and I'm driving up one of my favorite streets in Boonville. This is Skylar Street. It is picturesque. It reminds me of the villages that you see in the movies. This is Skylar Street and this is the way to the nursery. My plow guy just called. He says it's like an avalanche coming off the polys. So I'm getting up there to see what I can do to clear out the space. Number one looks pretty good. Oh boy. Not so much for the rest. This shall be fun. Oh boy, here's my plow guy. Okay, so I have to try to get in here. <laughs> um, that's the banks right now, uh, but it clearly needs to be cleaned out. Um, I can't even get... Oh, wow. Yeah, everything needs to be cleared off. Like, you can't even see the greenhouses by the banks. Oh, yeah, let's get cleaning. I can't even tell where the snow stops and where the greenhouses begin. This is awful. This is me trying to walk through the snow. 
to get to it. Oh boy. This is crazy. I just found the wall. This is gonna take me a bit. I don't have a tripod to set up, so I'm not gonna be able to film me actually moving the snow. It's gonna take a while though. I'll let you know how long it takes. Clearing away, and as I'm clearing away, it's just falling. And you can see the air has been pressed out of the poly. It will fill back up as I remove the weight from it. That's just the air being dispersed by the weight of the snow. Just found the building number two. <sighs> And number one, well, most of it's off. That's really not a lot. It looks like more than it is, but that will come right off. No big deal. I just want to get the bulk of the snow off so that there are no issues with weight. This is fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> I'm not even attempting to shovel that out. That's just going to be fine. Hi flower friends, it's now day three. Day three. Of snow removal here at the nursery. Boonville, technically the grand total here was 38 inches of snow in less than 24 hours. Just up the road though, just a few miles, they clocked in at four and a half feet of snow. So I think we're somewhere in the middle. We're kind of on the closer end to where they had the four and a half feet of snow in the village of Boonville. Definitely the snow was almost up to my belly button in spots. Definitely difficult to move around in. It has been a grand total of about 13 hours of just me shoveling so far. And that is just to get the snow away from the sides of the greenhouses. It was really, really time consuming and difficult. And I honestly couldn't use a shovel in most cases because the banks were so high that I couldn't physically use the shovel. So I climbed on top of the banks on my hands and knees and I pushed the snow out of the way using my hands and arms. It was kind of insane. I have never, I, I don't remember a time in December where we got this much snow. I know it used to be a more common occurrence. I know when my parents were kids, they used to have banks that were taller than their vehicles all the time. But the snow patterns lately have been kind of intense. We are in the snow belt capital of the United States and those type of snowstorms, yeah, sometimes we get them, but honestly, the last few years when we got more than two feet of snow, three feet of snow, that's been a late spring storm. I remember a couple of Aprils ago, I wanna say like maybe April 2016, we got three and a half feet of snow in April, but a couple days later, it was 50 something degrees and all of the snow was gone and I didn't own a nursery. So I didn't have to really worry about getting rid of all of that snow. A lot of the areas around here are worried about the, the weight of the snow because guess what? We have round two coming in. I know a lot of you guys are also dealing with this storm. It's Elliot. Elliot is moving in. Storm Elliot. And with Elliot is bringing some very mild temperatures, which is going to mean a lot of rain for us between an inch and a half and two inches of rain tonight. And then we're gonna have a flash freeze where it drops into the teens from about 45, 50 degrees to the teens. So all of that rain is going to freeze and they're expecting major power outages and a lot of issues, down trees, down power lines, roofs collapsing because three and a half to four and a half feet of snow on a roof and then two inches of rain, the weight is a lot for any roof to take. We've been trying to get as much snow off the roofs here as we can, but honestly, there's only so much we can do. Okay, so I, I had planned on filming a Q&A about the nursery. This snowstorm put a total wrench in my plans. All of my free time has been spent here. Not to mention the snow removal at our house. And I did get stuck in the driveway and Veda really helped me. If I didn't have Veda to push the pedal while I pushed the car out of that little rut, whew, thankfully Veda was home and there was no school. They had two snow days. They had a snow day on Friday, which was, I think we had 10 or 12 inches of snow on Friday. And then we got the three and a half feet <laughs> on from Sunday into Monday. So it has been absolute snowmageddon here and there's still a lot of cleaning up to do. In fact, one of my jobs that I have to do today is to go home and shovel the three and a half feet of snow off of the trailer so that we can bring the tractor up here to finish snow removal in between greenhouses three and four. That's way too small of a space. The tractor fits in it perfectly. We are gonna quickly move that snow tonight before the storm comes in. Hopefully, cross your fingers that we're gonna be able to get to it before the heavy rain 
and then the flash freeze because when that happens I'm honestly concerned about the integrity of those greenhouses down there if we get two and a half inches of rain on top of the snow that's already there and then we get the flash freeze and not to mention the 40 to 50 mile an hour winds that are forecast on top of all that. Anyway, it's kind of chaotic here right now. Uh, it's also Christmas weekend, so it's one of those things where you just want to relax and enjoy the holidays with your family, but everyone's worried about this weather coming in, and it's uh, it's a real worry. It's a real concern. It's not just like a six or eight inch snowstorm. No, this is definitely something that people are worried about. On top of all that, I needed to take a break from moving the snow. So I decided I didn't want to wait anymore. I wanted to get going on greenhouse number one, the floor. So I have been shoveling one shovel full at a time and moving the, the crushed stone that I got around in there. And it's honestly, it's not taking me as long as you would think. It's only been about two hours worth of shoveling and I almost have a first layer over about half of the greenhouse. I need some help to move the concrete pieces that are in there. I cannot lift those pieces by myself. So my mother and father-in-law are off the week in between Christmas and New Year's. And one of the things we want to get done while they're off is I want them to help me move the concrete pieces out of the space and then move the rest of the stone. Our original plan was to rent a small piece of equipment and bring it in and use that. But this huge three and a half to four feet of snow that we have here is preventing that equipment from getting here. So I don't wanna wait, I just wanna do it. Honestly, I feel good, I feel strong, I feel capable, and I have zero issues of just shoveling it. I've been using a five gallon bucket, I'm probably gonna bring a wheelbarrow up. It was one of those projects that I didn't expect to start. I got here, I shoveled snow for three hours, I sat down and I was like, all right, my gloves are soaking wet, my boots are soaking wet, I wanna do something else. So I was able to start that project and I really love the way that it looks in there. That crushed stone, I think, is the perfect floor. It's the first time that I've walked into greenhouse number one and have not been concerned about breaking my ankle. That's a fact. I've just been filling the gaps. We're gonna bring a level in and make sure we have one of those um, laser beam levels. We're gonna make sure the floor is level and really, really nice and packed in and beautiful. I'm really excited about getting this project underway, taking a lot less time than I thought. Really happy about it, can't complain. What I was saying just a few minutes ago is that I had intended on filming a nursery Q&A, but that snowstorm just, I didn't have time to. So I will be accepting more questions on this video, any nursery related questions. I'll do a separate flower farm one. There are some questions that are gonna go back and forth and kind of be maybe both. If you guys have questions about how I'm going to be operating both at the same time next year, um, that's also questions that I have too. <laughs> We're gonna figure these things out together. I know it's gonna be an amazing journey and a very um, challenging journey. I am very much looking forward to it. I enjoy challenges. In fact, I, um, I have some supplies coming in this week to make even more products to sell here at the nursery. I'm getting, I'm getting into making soaps and wax melts and things like that. Um, those things I'm actually gonna be making like tomorrow. That's my plan during this snowstorm. <laughs> I'm gonna make some wax melts and guess what? The very first scent that I'm gonna be making on my wax melts, they're gonna be Flower Hill Farm wax melts. I'm gonna sell them here at my nursery. Guess what the very first scent is that I'm gonna be making? Eventually, the long-term plan is to also sell those on my website, so I will be shipping them eventually, but right now, I'm just learning how to make them. So whatever I'm making right now, I'm using as gifts and uh, just for myself, really. But eventually, the long-term plan is to sell them here at the nursery and to sell them on my website. So that'll happen eventually. Okay, that's what's happening all week long at the nursery. Moving snow, moving snow, moving snow. I have bruises where I didn't even know I was getting bruises. I had to go to the chiropractor yesterday, which by the way, chiropractor says I'm in tip top shape. I did, I tore something in my hip guys uh, over the summer. I tore something in my hip, hip. I couldn't move my leg um, to the right. My hip was just not mobile over the summer. Well, the, the majority of the summer, to be honest with you, I just kind of dealt with it. I finally got into the chiropractor. He's fixing it for me. It feels a million times better already. But even after two days of shoveling and then going to the chiropractor, he was adjusting me and he's like, I don't really have to adjust much here, Nicole. You're pretty decent. So it's just my hip that we have to fix. It's just tight muscles. One of my inner thigh muscles is way too tight. Actually, it's bruised right now because he 
uh, worked on it yesterday, and then uh, my labrum was is torn, basically. I'm fine though, it doesn't really hurt, it's just limited mobility. But I'm like, my biceps are super strong right now. <laughs> That's from moving snow. Eventually, obviously, the long-term plan here is to get a machine that's able to move snow. Obviously, our tractor is capable of doing that, but moving the tractor on a trailer from our house to this farm, it gets dangerous, and there's really not a place for the trailer to go when there's a lot of snow on the ground. There's, the, the I don't know if you guys know this, but the nursery is kind of like on a corner, and there's a road, and there's a road, and we only have five or six parking spots, and that's it. That's it. Our long-term plans are to change that and to make it make a bigger parking lot, have it be more accessible, have a spot for us to work, but this is what we're working with right now. We have right now goals and we have five year goals and the right now goals are what's important, especially when it comes to the snow. So moving it by hand is kind of my only option. All right, I'm gonna bring these plants to my dad's house for the holidays, for the weekend. We're celebrating there on Christmas Eve. So I'm gonna bring those there. Uh, I'm gonna put them in my car and bring them there today. Okay, so I'm gonna go home and start to clear the snow off of that trailer so we can come back up here. That's not gonna be included in this video. I wanna get this video out to you guys. It is. Thursday morning right now so hopefully you guys will be seeing this video today and then the tractor removal of the snow will happen Thursday later in the afternoon so that won't be part of this video thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today and just I guess seeing the process of what we've had to do so far at the nursery and this is this is an abnormal storm <laughs> It's just been, it's been a lot, a lot of snow, but we're handling it, we're moving it, we're getting it done, and so far our structures are holding up. Please send all the positive vibes you can so that our structures hold up in this next part of the storm. It's gonna be great, it's gonna be fantastic. We're gonna get through this. Anyway guys, thanks for sticking around. We'll see you soon. I put a Christmas tree in the front window of greenhouse number one and I love the way that it looks, especially obviously at night. It looks so cute. My plan is to eventually have this place decked out for the holidays. I want a Christmas tree in the front of every one of the nursing or of the greenhouses, um, and obviously like totally decked out. It's super sweet, especially at night and you drive by and it just kind of twinkles. I took a, a picture of what it looked like when you drive by in the front. Oh, it's so cute. I love it. But I only have one right now, so I don't have all four. And plus, you can't even see into number two right now. Anyway, <laughs> the snow is up so high. I put, oh, the heater's loud. I'm gonna wait for it to stop. Shh, it's not listening. It's almost like nine inch nails. Look at the name on the, the heater. It's a Trent Reznor. <laughs> what else? I think that was it. We were this good. I've been listening to the Chronicles of Narnia on my audiobook and I can't stop. So I have all of these voices in my head that I want to come out of my mouth, but I gotta keep them in because it's inappropriate. Even with a nothing on, I made you look. I made you look. Just kick the camera. <laughs> <laughs>